Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 3 of Book 4. In this proposition, we are going to take a triangle, DEF, and we're going to create a new triangle such that each side of the triangle touches the circle and the resulting triangle will be equal angular to the original triangle. So in other words, if we do it right, this external triangle will be equal angular to DEF. So how do we go about doing it? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend the base to H, G. And we're going to find the center of our circle and label it K. We're going to draw any line KB, doesn't matter where it's drawn. And now we're going to copy the angle alpha to the point K. So this angle here is alpha, which is equal to this angle here. And then we're going to do this again for the angle alpha. That was angle gamma, sorry about that, gamma, gamma, alpha. So now we have drawn gamma and we have drawn alpha inside of the circle. The next step is to draw lines such that they just touch the circle at points A, B, and C. And we're using the methods described in Proposition 16 of Book 3. So here we have our triangle. And this triangle is equal angular to our original triangle, DEF. Now to prove that, let's first look at these lines and we've drawn them such that they just touch the circle. If they just touch the circle, then by definition any line drawn through the center of the circle to the line touching a circle will create a right angle. So this is a right angle, this is a right angle, and this is a right angle because this line just touches the circle. Now let's look at this quadrilateral. The sum of all the angles in a, quadrilang in a quadrilateral is equal to four right angles. But we have one right angle here and one right angle here. So if the sum of all the angles is equal to four right angles and we subtract the two right angles, we're left with alpha plus n is equal to two right angles. Carrying on, if we look at our original triangle with the base extended, we have alpha plus lambda is creating a straight line. So we have alpha plus lambda is also equal to two right angles. And as a consequence, n must equal lambda. So we have n is equal to lambda. We can do the same thing for this quadrilateral to show that m is equal to epsilon. Now, since the sum of all right angles in a triangle is equal to two right angles, and we have m plus n plus l is also equal to two right angles, but we have m, excuse me, m is equal to epsilon, m is equal to epsilon, lambda is equal to n, so consequently we must also have the delta is equal to L, and therefore L is equal to delta. So we now have two triangles where L is equal to delta, M is equal to epsilon, and N is equal to lambda. So this triangle is equal angular to the original triangle, and all three sides touch the circle. And thus we have succeeded. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.